Hi, I'm Courtney Murphy, Denver Metro Realtor. Today we're here in Castle Rock, Colorado in the McCanton neighborhood and we're looking at homes by Toll Brothers. Uh, right now we're going to take a look at their Shivano model. Absolutely beautiful luxury home. The current base price right now as of today when we're filming is $900. $48,955. Now keep in mind that base prices do change. That's the base price as of right now while we're filming. But let's go ahead and get started and take a look at the beautiful Shivano model. Hey guys, welcome in. Let's take the tour of this beautiful luxury home. As you can see, it is amazing right when you walk in. Um, nice foyer area that juts up two stories. I mean, it feels very grand in here. You get a view of the railings and the stairs leading up. Um, if you're looking out uh, this way, you see right back out into your slider doors back there and your informal dining space. Over this way, you, we have our stairs leading downstairs um, into the basement. But before we go check out the main area, let's head over this way. Come to a coat closet, which is nice since we just came in from the front door. And if we keep walking back, we have double doors leading into a really nice sized uh, office space. Some uh, windows looking out toward the side of the house there. And they put in some built-ins in this office. That's an option that you would have. Come and walking down this way. This is an entrance in from your garage. Now you have two garages on this home, so split garage. This comes standard as a one car garage. You do have the option to make it two car. If you come around this way, you come to your powder bath. Now maybe you have the need for a main floor bedroom. You do have the option to uh, change your office space into a bedroom by doing that, that would change your powder bath into a main bath, or not a main bath, a, um, a full bathroom. That way your guests would have a bathroom where they could shower and all that good stuff. Walking over this way, we're into the formal dining space. It's very long. You can see they put in a really long table here, so plenty of space if you have lots of family that comes over for the holidays. Nice window at the end there that's looking out towards the side of the house. You know, modern families, um, we're not so much into the formal dining spaces anymore, but you could get creative with this space. Maybe um, you have a piano, uh, you want to set up a piano room or an informal sitting space, but options over this way. If we keep on walking, the ceilings jet up two stories. This great room truly feels great. Lots of windows in here. We have windows on either side of the fireplace. They put in a great fireplace. It really is the centerpiece of the room. Um, but plenty of space in here for your whole family. Coming over this way, you can see the great big slider doors they put in here. This is an, this is an option that you can do. I would say if you can do it because it really lets in all the extra light and brings the outdoors inside. Looking over this way, same thing. They put in the extra big slider doors. These are all options that you have when you're building your home. We're going to take a step outside. Just check out the patio and the yard. So this patio right here, standard, it, the patio would end right over here. So not a bad size patio, but maybe you want more patio space. You also have the option to add this whole area as well. So just expanding that um, outdoor enjoyment space. All right, let's head back in and into this absolutely beautiful kitchen. 
as you can see, there's plenty of countertop space and cabinet space in here. So if you like to cook, I think you're going to do okay. Uh, nice long island here. They have four chairs comfortably pulled up. They do also have like three or four options on how large your island is. So more options there. They have the sink and the dishwasher right here in the island. So as you're cleaning up, preparing dinner, you kind of look out over the great room space where everyone's hanging out. Um, uh, nice. They put in some really nice appliances in the model. That too, you're going to have lots of options um, for appliances and, and how much you want to spend on appliances or maybe you want to go crazy because you are that um, person that loves to cook. They have those options. This pantry is amazing. Absolutely love it. I mean, your pantry even has a window in here, but plenty of space for those um, Costco runs where you go a little bit crazy. <laughs> Lots of space in there. All right, if we keep on walking, we come back here um, past the kitchen. We are into a mudroom space. Uh, they put in some benches and hooks, cubbies in here. That's something that you could do. This is the entrance in from your main garage. This comes standard with two parking spaces. You can expand that to three parking spaces. So if you expanded this garage and expanded the other garage, you'd have a total of five parking spaces. Nice double door coat closet, so plenty of room for all your outdoor gear. And if we come back this way, we are into the laundry room. They put in um, a sink and some cabinets here, and look, even an extra refrigerator. I would love that. Um, however, again, lots of options here. Maybe you want to have your laundry room on the second floor. They actually have that option as well. So, and speaking of the second floor, let's head up. Welcome to the second floor. So we get upstairs and of course, as you know, the foyer was two stories. So you get a nice view down, into, uh, down towards your front door there. Keep on walking this way. First thing we come to is a nice sized loft. You can see they set it up as a TV room, but think about how you'd use it best for your family. And if we look over this way, now they've put in some little, uh, Dec de decoration here, but it does look down into your great room. Now, maybe there's not enough bedrooms in this house for you. If that's the case, you do have the option to uh, make the loft into a bedroom. Walking down this way, we come to a full bathroom. Which connects directly into our first secondary bedroom, some windows looking out towards the front of the home here, one on the side, and it does have a walk-in closet. All the secondary bedrooms in this home have walk-in closets, so, so your kids are going to like that. Coming out around this way, you find, remember I said you could do the laundry room on the second floor, so that's what this, it would look like if you did that. You do have some options with this room. Maybe you don't want the laundry room up here. You also have an option to make it into a, a powder bath or just have it as a flex space. Maybe some storage up here. You could do that as well. Okay, walking back out past the loft and down the hallway here. Okay. Back on the other side of the upstairs here, the first thing we have is a linen closet. And we come into our next secondary bedroom. This one feels really light and bright. Great big windows looking out towards the front of the home. Again, if you pass by this way, you can see that there's a walk-in closet, as promised. And into a Jack and Jill bathroom, one vanity right here. There'd be a door right here leading into, um, th they have it as a shower. You always have the option to change a tub into a shower. Standard, it comes with the tub, the toilet right here. And then of course there'd be another door here for privacy. And you walk into um, your next uh, vanity over here for that is used by whoever gets to live in this bedroom. Again, some nice big windows in here. Feels um, pretty light and bright. 
And again, this room with its own walk-in closet. Now, maybe you don't like the Jack and Jill bathroom. You do have the option to make that into two totally separate um, bathrooms. So instead of a Jack and Jill, each bedroom has its own full bathroom. Come back out into the hallway here. This is, gonna be, this is just a room for your furnace for the uh, second floor here. And now my favorite bedroom of the house, we're into the, the master bedroom. As you can see, it's a really nice sized bedroom with some great big windows here, looking out into the um, rear of the home. And they put in a fireplace in here, so that's an option that you have. Doesn't come standard, but it's an option. All right, walking back this way. I really love this, I think you will too. Going in either direction here, we have two walk-in closets. Check them out. And they did them, they put in um, built-ins into these closets. That's an option that you would have as well. You're gonna love this bathroom. Walking back, you can see a nice spot for your tub right here, and the shower is right behind it. Now, this is featuring their ultra shower option, and what that does is it adds this little step-up space on either side, a nice spot. They put in benches there, a nice spot to after you get out of the shower to get dried off. Split vanities in this master bathroom, one right over here, nice size vanity and one directly across. And then of course we have our private toilet closet. And that's the second floor of the beautiful Shivano. Again, my name's Courtney Murphy, Denver Metro Realtor. We're out here in Castle Rock, Colorado in the McCanton neighborhood looking at the Shivano model by Toll Brothers. If you'd be interested in this home and learning about more of their floor plans, seeing if this is the right place for you, give me a call. I'd love to meet you out here. And if this isn't the right place for you, I'd love to help you find that right home. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'm uploading new home tours every single week. Thanks for joining me today and have a wonderful day.